Here we go. So what I'm about to do is walk through with you on how to do it the paid way. Now, you already seen how I've done it the free way. Now, we're about to go through how you do it with the paid way. So let's go head over to one of my pages over here. The paid way is super simple, but I just want you guys to know that if you are not going viral a lot of times with the free way, Sometimes it can just be because you don't have the reach within certain groups if you're in a certain niche. But whenever you have that, so whenever you have that problem, the paid way will nine times out of ten solve it. Because what the paid way is doing, it is forcing your stuff to go viral. If I have a handbag giveaway and I'm posting that handbag giveaway into trading sale groups and it's not working for me, okay, I know that there's women in that group that just don't like handbags. So I want to boost it to the women that do like handbags. So what I will simply do is I will go to my fan page. After I go to my fan page, I will simply click boost post. Now let me tell you about this. A lot of marketers, a lot of paid marketers tell you not to use the boost post button. But understand this. When you are giving something away for free, you can use any button. I don't care if it said boost it now, boost post, or whatever. It's a way to give something away for free. So because of this, because you are giving something away for free, understand that it doesn't matter if you do deep Facebook advertising and go deep into retargeting and all of that, or if you do boost posts. But I can tell you this right now, the more simple you keep this and the more broad you make this, the more money you're going to make. So what I mean is you will simply go to your post you would click the boost post button. After you do that, what you want to do is you want to make sure that your the country you are targeting. Let's choose the country. Let's do it all, all from scratch. You could choose whatever country you want to target, of course. But I'm going to do United States. Just name a handbag. I'm going to do women. I'm going to do ages 25 to 34. Because those are the, in this niche, those are most of the time the women that buy the most handbags. 25 to 34, United States. And what we are going to do right here, you see it's 30 million people targeted right now. Of course, we don't want that many people because it's too broad. So, But what we are going to do right here in this post is we are going to target one company, and of course, that is Michael Kors. So what you want to do is, let's say this is named the bag lady. You want to keep it broad, and you want to match up every handbag brand with the real Facebook brand itself. So I don't want to give away a Prada handbag and target a Michael Kors audience. Sometimes that may work if you're lucky, but a lot of times when people are liking a brand, they are rolling with that one brand. But sometimes you'll have people that like multiple brands. But I found it to work better whenever you keep the brands matched up. So in this case, I am giving away a Michael Kors handbag. So I'm going to just type Michael Kors. Interest, Michael Kors. 1.6 million people. Click save. That's all you got to do. Click save. Scroll down. Automatic placements. Make sure you don't, you have automatic placements off. You don't want this post on Instagram or Messenger. You only want this post on Facebook. And what you want to do is you want to do a test run at $5 per day. Let's see, $5 per day, let me see. So the total budget is $15 and we're gonna do three day test run. Three day test run. Facebook, to make more money for Facebook, they, they always recommend you do four days to get better results. But Facebook and many other companies are full of BS when they try to force you to run your ads longer just to make them more money. So if you want to run an ad for one day or two day or three days, you can do that. You don't have to do it for four days. But what I always love to do is just run it for three days 
Total budget $15, so I'm spending $5 per day. My estimated people reached is 600 to 1,700 people per day. And let me tell you this, most likely, nine times out of 10, you do not have to ever run your ad again. Because what's gonna happen is, you're gonna reach about 6,000 women you know, if you know, it, it may say it may say 600 to 1700 people per day. But what's going to happen is those 600 to 1700 women per day are going to like, share and comment. Other women are going to start seeing it. And when they do it, other women are going to start seeing it and so on. So this 600 to 1700 people per day it's going to eventually turn into 6,000 to 17,000 people per day from organic reach also. Organic reach is when you are reaching people without even paying to reach those people. So all you are doing with this method, with the paid method, is paying to reach certain people up front and letting the organic reach kick in so you can gain all of that organic traffic so it can take over your campaign. So let me repeat that. At the beginning, you're going to pay $5 per day for three days just to get the organic reach to kick in. Once the organic reach kick in, you don't have to continue spending $5 per day because nine times out of 10, the organic reach is going to take over the whole campaign and it's going to begin going viral for free. So really all you spend is $15 and you could end up making $15,000 if your campaign go viral enough. So most likely if you are having problems going viral for free, like posting in trade and sale groups or niche related groups, most likely this is going to be your ticket to going viral, forcing yourself to go viral because you are targeting people that already love the stuff anyways. And a lot of times, if you want to go the easy route, this is the way I recommend you going anyways. But this is all you have to do. Remember, keep it niche targeted. If my page name is The Bag Lady and I have a Gucci bag, a Gucci designer bag, I have a Michael Kors designer bag, I have a Tom Ford designer bag, and so on. I want to match the audience up. 25 to 34 with handbags, it's most likely going to be your best bet. So you want to always match it up. You want to target people that already have interest in the Gucci space. In the, you want to target women that already have interest in Gucci. These women have interest in Michael Kors. If you are doing a Tom Ford handbag giveaway, target women 25 to 30, 25 to 34, that's in to Tom Ford. You want to keep it targeted like that if you are doing handbags. This paid method works best really with just about any item you can think of. If I was doing a giveaway for a box of diapers, I could simply target moms. I could tar target moms from age 18 to 21. I can target moms 18 to 21 that's unemployed. You really got to be creative with this. Now, going through the paid method, I could literally sit here for 10 hours and go through all the different strategies. But the bottom line is, the more broad you keep things, as you can see, all I done was targeted women age 25 to 34, that's interested in Michael Kors. That's really all I've done because I want to reach 1.6 million women that will possibly help me go viral, not 16,000 women. So that's why I kept it so broad, and that's why you need to keep it broad also. Remember, we are not selling anything here, so we can keep it broad. If you were selling something, if you were selling Michael Kors handbags, then, of course, you could do Facebook ads with retargeting, with pixels and all of the deep technical stuff, but that's not the case here. We're giving something away for free, so you have to understand that even though you are promoting this to women age 25 to 34, if you are in this niche, men are going to kick in too because they want to win it for their woman. I mean, I would even probably, you know, see if I if I seen somebody was doing a giveaway, I would even probably enter it because I know my woman love handbags. So regardless of what niche we are talking about, 
understand that we are giving stuff away for free so you don't have to use any kind of Facebook pixels. You don't have to do any deep targeting. All you have to do is make peop- make sure that pe- the people that you are targeting have interest in what you're giving away and it's game over from there. After that, you'll just scroll down. Make sure your payment method is good to go. I got an ad coupon on this one. And I could just hit that boost post button right now. And it's a wrap from there. This is all you have to do, guys, in order to boost your post with giving stuff away for free on Facebook to go viral and allow that organic reach to kick in. That's the whole entire goal. Boost it for three days. Let the organic reach kick in. And it's game over. And it's a wrap from there. Go ahead and start using this method today. This is something you can get started with today if you don't want to wait to all the groups approve you or if you don't want to wait to post in all the groups or let's say Facebook block you from posting in groups for a few days because you've posted in too many groups. This is the way to bypass all of that and boost your post right away and get results as soon as hours. You can get results with this method within hours if you are choosing the right niches and, of course, following exactly what I told you to follow within this training.